Hello and welcome to the first update of the puppies. So it's been a week ago tonight that they were born. It's the 14th they were born on the seventh night of the 7th. And they're doing really well. Oh, red one's hungry. Now before we do anything else in the video, I just want to remind you that the puppies are now with their forever homes. So this was all filmed prior to when you're currently watching it. So at the moment you're watching it right now, the puppies are with their new owners and they're no longer with us unfortunately. And that's just for security reasons because there's some horrible people in the world. So yeah, I'll be bringing you uh, weekly updates and maybe even sometimes you'll get an extra one a week. It depends depends what happens really. But so far in the first week they're, they're really healthy. and. There's not been that much for us to do really. You've basically just got to spend a lot of time being like watching them and making sure that that mum isn't basically lying on them or crushing them. So, for example, we'll be sat in the next room. And you can the next room just there, and you can hear if any of them are squeaking or anything. If they're just under mum's leg or something, and it's it's not too comfortable for them. So, yeah, it's basically just kind of checking on them, making sure they're all feeding okay and sort of evenly, and weighing them every day and then what we've just done as well which you will do twice a week from now on is cut their toenails <laughs> so I'll be showing you footage of all that in this video because I've been filming basically every day this week so the weights you see the weights here these are the ones from the night they were born um, so you'll have seen these if you've watched the first video which is the birthing one if you haven't seen that then I'm gonna try and do one of those banner things in the corner and then you can click on that and go and watch it and then so on, we've put all the weights and they're all basically, I'm not going to read them all out, there's no point, so they've all been growing at a very, very similar rate, which is great. You know, none of them seem to be having any issues and all is well. Now I also thought in this first video I'd give you a little bit of a sort of rundown of the room I'm in and how we got it set up perfectly for Scarlet giving birth to and rearing the little puppies. What are you two doing? Now mum's actually out of the room, she's having a little break, just chilling out here. Um, and what we've done here is basically separated the rooms out so that Scarlett's got her, this whole room to herself because we don't want Sid and Safi like coming in and disturbing her because last time she had a litter, one of the other dogs we had, if they came anywhere near she was growling at them and saying get away from my babies sort of thing. So we've put a baby gate on the door which, and then Sid and Safi's beds have been moved out here. So we put a towel on the gate as well, just so that so that the other two can't really see in and Scarlett isn't going to see them and get anxious or anything like that. Now here's where Scarlett spends pretty much most of her time, unless she's sort of out there having a break, which she does when Sid and Safi are out, like now, she was out there before. So the, the whelping box, you'll notice, has this rim all around the edge, and often the puppies will go to a corner or the edge of the box, and this means that when she leans in there like this, there can actually be a puppy under there, there isn't right now, but there could be a puppy under there and she's not going to crush it basically. Another important thing of the whelping box is the temperature. So under these mats we've got this little red heated mat um, and that's just to sort of help keep the puppies warm if they're not sat right next to mum. And that's why you'll notice in a lot of the videos she's kind of on this side away from the heat because we also have this lamp here which is just a heat lamp and that makes this area here a good warmish temperature for the pups. Like if they're not with mum they'll often be sort of lying around this area. We've got our temperature there as well just to keep an eye on it. Because if you'll notice mum she's panting a lot and we don't want her to get we don't want mum to get too hot so we don't want the whole whelping box to be absolutely roasting. Also underneath all the mats and stuff we have these super absorbent towels which there's loads of there and newspapers for when they get a bit older so this helps clear up any spillages of bodily fluids. Now another thing you might notice in here is the bed. So two or three days before the birth, right, we obviously had a period of a few days where the birth was gonna, potentially going to happen. So my mum was sleeping down here and she's been sleeping down here since, just in case in the middle of the night Scarlet rolls onto one of the puppies or something and we need to just help her out a little bit. So the first week is basically just keeping an eye on them and making sure that they're all putting on weight properly. So we've obviously been weighing them every day and starting today we've actually cut their nails which will now happen twice a week. Uh, we don't want them to be hurting Scarlet when they're trying to find a nipple to feed or anything like that.
I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment, like the video, and make sure to subscribe to the channel because there's going to be a load more updates coming.